Yes, I just want to give a little brief about the video series I made before there was a Zilla at my wedding, but not a Brazilla. And I also said I had an update. Um, let me just say this. This woman that supposedly had, supposedly been our wedding planner, she's been nothing but a nuisance and a problem to us. As a wedding planner, as a member of leadership in the church, nothing but a nuisance and a problem, like I said. But she tells me that one night when we went to a convocation that I'm in trouble with God. She tells me that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, as far as what I'm supposed to be in God. But you're sleeping around. And you didn't think anybody was going to find out. And then at my wedding day, he was trying to sabotage everything. He was trying to piss off my matron of honor. You didn't have the programs out on time. Like you were supposed to. He was pissing off everybody that was supposed to decorate for the reception the night before, which was supposed to be in my bridal shower. That had to have been canceled because she wasn't handling her business. Then we found out after I got married that she was a fraud. But she was lying about a lot of things. All that stuff started coming in light. So I found out about a year or so ago that she had an affair with a married man. Okay. But I'm in trouble with God. And I wasn't sleeping around. Keep that in mind. Um, then recently, she was sending emails to my husband about it was just an, just wasn't it was him and certain people about a link to Viagra. And I'm like, is she trying to be funny? So, this been going on a few times. He sent her email back last year about that. It stopped for a while, then it started back up again. Then I sent her an email. And was like, can you please stop sending these links to my husband? I don't know if you have a virus or anything. But, you know, you need to go handle that. Check that out. But I appreciate you do not send that those type of emails to my husband. She wrote back to me and got smart. And was like, I don't appreciate, I'm a woman of God, yada, yada, blah, 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 you know. And I don't appreciate this and that. I'm going to show you the email. I'm going to show y'all the email. And I said, oh. Like, she, she made it seem like I was lying. But I used my screen capture software to prove that I wasn't lying. Then she changed her tune and was like, oh, you know what? <laughs> I do. I did have a virus, you know. I'm I'm sorry if I became an inconvenience for you and your husband. You know, something like that. I'm gonna show y'all that too. I'm like, don't get mad at me because you effed your life up, and you was trying to put it in my head like I don't got my shit together when it was really you. I was sleeping with no married man. I ain't had no baby by no married man. I was trying to do the right thing. 
and me and, you, and me and this woman, we're the same age. Okay, we're the same age. We think she have it together by then. By the time you're in your thirties, you should be thinking about marriage. If you not married already, you should be thinking about marriage. You shouldn't be out there booty calling and oh, I got a boyfriend, all the all the other bull out there and nonsense and and club hopping. That should be pretty much out of your system by the time you hit your thirties. And sleeping with this one and that one, that one. That's what you want to do. More power to you. But don't F nobody else's life up. And make it seem like. They're less than. Because you fucked your life up. Don't ever do that to a person. Because they're getting married. And they're doing the right thing. And you're not. And you you still doing the same shit you, doing, you did. You was doing in your early 20s. And you like 30 something now. And soon you see girlfriend that's your same age. Your, you see your peers getting married. You want to you wanna screw her life up. And mess that relationship up. She was trying to break this up. Because there was another couple. That who wedding she was supposed to do. Quote quote. I noticed they broke their engagement. They they broke up. She was doing my. She was supposed to do my wedding and this other young lady wedding at the same time. And her fiance was handsome. Let me tell you. I believe she broke that. She had something to do with their breakup. She put it in her put little bits and put little seeds in her mind. And then this chick had the audacity two weeks before my wedding to say, "I don't think you ready to get married." But you sitting and spread your legs before a married man. And you going to tell me. You had the audacity to come to me and say. You going to feel like I'm ready to get married. When your ass haven't grown up yet. Are you for real? And then when I come at you as a lady. Because I could have cussed her out. With them emails trying to be funny. I try, I come at you. I try to come across you as a lady, and ask you to please stop the email and check that out. You come at me with a belligerent tone. Then she was like, "I appreciate you stop sending me emails." I've been stopped, sweetie. I've been stopped. Don't get mad because you got caught. Me and hubby, we going on about business as usual. You probably thought we probably break up by now, but we still hanging on strong. We still together and we still running strong. Almost going on four years, boo boo. No infidelities, no cheating, none of that shit. No sleeping with married men. <laughs> yeah. Is that man with you today? I don't think so. From what I hear, he went back to his wife. Don't take that out on me. By being funny, send my husband emails about my agua because he don't need it, sweetie. Maybe I should send you emails on women condoms. Maybe you'll get the point. Maybe I should send you emails on birth control. Maybe I should do that. See, I'm not going to do that because I'm not petty. Because when I asked you, when I confronted you on my wedding day, on my wedding day, I had to confront this woman about her behavior. Because I was going to slap the shit out of her. Bumping my tables, pouting around with an attitude. Then she brings the food in late. She was also she was supposed to cater my wedding, but kind of find out she wasn't doing she's because she wasn't doing what she's supposed to do. Because she wasn't doing what she's supposed to do. Certain people had to pitch in, and all she had to do was bring in about maybe two dishes. 
She was late bringing that in. My guests had to see her bringing the food. That shouldn't be at a wedding. And I was late on my wedding day. So why are you late? I was two hours late. So why are you late bringing in the food? What the hell you was doing? Sleeping? My mother-in-law shouldn't have to ask and my, and my family shouldn't have to ask where the food at. They hungry. Then she kept saying, during the con before months before my wedding, I really want to do your wedding, but because, um, cause we, you know, we went to the same church, but because Bishop asked me to do it. That part was a lot too. No, you wanted to do it to be an asshole. That's why you. That's why you stayed on doing it. I should have cut that loose. That was my, I should have cut that loose, period. You ain't want to do my wedding? Then don't. But, we got married. We still married. We hanging on strong. But, you know. Little things like that still fetch me. And we're going to do it all over again on our, um. Either our fifth year anniversary and our tenth year, ten year anniversary, we're gonna do it all over again. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it all over again, yes. And of course she will not be invited. She would try to cause problems between me and my best friend. Oh yeah, dude, it was it was a big thing. Trying to cause problems between me. We almost lost a friendship over her bullshit. Over her running her going back, running her mouth. But what I'm trying to say is, ladies, if you're getting married, be careful who you hire to do your wedding. If they if they don't seem right, they don't they don't I don't care how sweet they are to you at first. If something ain't right, and they keep saying they don't want to do it, if they keep half-stepping, cut their asses loose. Cut them loose, because it's, it's not really worth it. You, you only get married, you want to get that special day once. I shouldn't have my special day worrying about what this woman going to do. Because certain people put her in charge. That's, that's that's basically all I'm saying. And it's like she, the the saddest part about it is she proclaimed to be a Christian, she proclaimed to be saved, and she haven't really apologized to us. She haven't really sincerely apologized to us for her behavior. And that bothers me. It's not exactly what she did. It's the fact that she didn't humble herself and apologize. That's what bothers me. And then I could tell in our last encounter recently, she haven't changed at all. I'm not, you know, I don't know what I really was expecting. Maybe I thought maybe her new baby or whatever, her experience maybe would wake her the hell up. Or maybe it was wishful thinking, but she could at least apologize. That ain't right, and that's not a, that's not a character of a of Christian conduct. It really is. It's. I know I got a lot of things to work on, but I ain't gonna sabotage another person wedding because you bitter and jealous because somebody left cheat cheat um. Left you and went off and married someone else just moments before you was about to get married, supposedly. Because it's like when a lot of stuff started coming to light about this woman, it's hard to believe 
What? It's like, I don't believe nothing she said. It's hard to believe what's true and what's a lie. And you too damn old for that. I felt sorry for her because of the stuff she was going through when she was younger and everything like that. But you 30 some years old now. You and your, you and your, your late 30s now. Grow the hell up. It's time to really grow up and sit back and look in the mirror at yourself and really re-evaluate your life. It's time to do that. If you still acting the same way you did 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and you 30 something, and there's no growth there, there's no maturity there, when certain people approach you about certain things, you still react in the same way. Something's not right there. They don't see no growth and maturity there in your in your character and the way you speak and the way you act. There's something not right there. She was really being a real Zilla, not just at a wedding, but before during the wedding process. Sometimes she could be alright, but then there's other times it's craziness. And I know another woman ain't gonna try to hat at. I hope when her friends get married and they decide to quote unquote hire her to do a wedding, I hope they reconsider that. I really do. I hope they reconsider that because that might be a big mistake. Well, that's all I had to say on a Zilla <laughs> at my wedding. I'm not a Brazilla, and I'm out right now.